Plant Tribe, how's everybody doing today? I had an amazing day and it's been a while since I've done a plant haul and I can safely say this is a big plant haul. I think I think I made up for not buying plants for like a month or so. Yeah, I got lots to show you. Okay, so I did a whole bunch of stuff today. <laughs> um, so Crystal Star Nursery had a pop-up shop, the Allen Conservatory in Toronto. And so we went there and it was so, so cool. There were so many people. I saw lots of people, got to meet new people. It was fantastic. Um, so that was a blast. And I had pre-ordered a plant that I will show you. Um, and it's a wish list plant and I'm really excited to show you. Um, anyways, so while I was there picking this plant up, I did grab a couple other plants that are super neat. So I'll show you those as well. And then on the way home, uh, Wreckers um, Garden Center that's in my the town that I live in, they had a Christmas open house, their Christmas open house and they had all their poinsettias. <clears throat> they also had um, tours through their nursery, like through all their greenhouses. And oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna show you that in a separate video um, just because I did get quite a bit of footage and it was gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that in my life and it was beautiful. Um, so anyways, Let's get into the haul and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so the first plants that I'm going to show you are ones that I got for my little terrarium. <clears throat> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that recently I got this little tiny glass terrarium. And so obviously I needed to buy plants to put in it. <laughs> um, and Rutgers is a great place for that because they have a huge Friday. They have a lot of little stuff ranging up to like big, huge things. So it was really nice to kind of get a whole bunch of different things. So I'll, I'm just going to start at one side of my little table and move to the other. So the first one that I got, and I'm hoping that this one's going to be okay in a terrarium. If anybody knows more about this plant than I do, please let me know if it's good for like a little terrarium. But this, I believe, is called a, oh man, is it a snow bush? So there it is. It's really, really cute. When it gets bright light, it kind of turns pink. So neat. So I did get that guy. I kind of like him, he's pretty. This one's really neat, and I feel like I've seen it maybe on Nick Pelleggi's channel. But this is a peperomia. And I don't know if it's going to come off on camera or not, but it's actually got this little spots of like burgundy variegation. You see that? It's so neat. Do I have it too close? There you go. Yeah, so that is my little, I'm not sure what it's called. If you guys know what this one's called, please let me know. Um, I also picked up this cool little Syngonium. I haven't seen this one before. It's pretty, like, basic looking, but I find, like, it's kind of different. The shape is a little different. Let's see if I can show you. It's kind of neat, but it's tiny and dwarf-like, so I feel like I can kind of tuck that into a corner somewhere, and that will be quite pretty. Okay. Uh, so the next one that I got is this little pink Fetonia. He's a little kind of flat and squishy, but he'll bush up. Um, so there's a, a couple different plants in here, so I figured I would just kind of like split them to use. And I also picked up a green one. They're so cute. So cute. All kinds of drama llamas today. All right. The next one I got is this pink polka dot plant. 
Um, he does have a little height and he's also got this gorgeous pink color. So I thought um, it would give the terrarium a little bit of like the vertical element and as well as like this really cool pop of color. So that's him. He's so pretty. Okay. The next one I got is this little asparagus fern. And there's a couple of different little stalks in here. So I thought I could kind of plant him in there as like trees or these little ones as like shrubs. But yeah, that's him. It's cute. Okay, the next one I gotta take it down a layer. This one's kind of, eh, whoa. So this one I'm going to use as more like a ground cover. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I know it's like a ground cover, kind of like a, like a fern or maybe a moss. But this is it. If it looks familiar to you, please let me know. There is the underside. But it's kind of like this nice mossy ground cover. So I figured I could kind of pick him apart and use it in the foreground as like ground cover. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, we're getting through the small ones. So the next one I picked up is this guy. So this is a Tradescantia. And so I had one, if you watch my wish list video, similar to this, but the one I had in my wish list video was a tricolor. So it had really nice pink through it as well. Um, this one is just the green and white, but it is so pretty and the leaves are a really cool texture and They almost have like a shimmer. It's really really pretty. I'm not sure if it's gonna come off on camera or not Anyways, so yeah, there's that guy Okay, uh, the next one I got I've been kind of into cacti lately yeah. So I got this one and for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it is blue. So it does have that dusting of blue, which actually prevent, um, protects the cacti or cactus from the hot sun. So they're similar, similar to succulents. So you'll see some succulents that have like that powdery blue stuff. Once you wipe that off, it doesn't grow back so you want to try to leave that don't touch the blue parts because once like I said once it comes off it doesn't come back and it just looks nice with that blue dusting on there um, so that is him super cute here's his little protective blue coloring all right <clears throat> so I got two, three more plants at Wreckers. So I'll finish showing you the plants I got at Wreckers first. So the first big one that I got was this one. Now I'm going to split this one with my friend Ashley that I went with today. So this is a chocolate aglonema. So it's like really pretty. It's got some gorgeous coloring on the back of the leaves. Hold on. Let's see if I can show you one. Like, look at this. Can you see that? How pretty. Like it's just a really, really nice aglaonema. And if you've had these plants before, you know how easy they are to take care of. They're super low maintenance. Um, they do well in low light. <clears throat> Obviously they're not gonna thrive in low light. Nothing's going to thrive in low light. <laughs> I will tell you that right now. Um, they just don't. Plants need to photosynthesize. Plants need sunlight. They don't have sunlight they will they'll survive for a while but without a whole lot of sunlight eventually it's just not going to be an ideal situation for your plant um, but yeah this is a gorgeous guy I love all the color so pretty okay <clears throat> and obviously you can't go to a Christmas open house sale where there's a zillion poinsettias without buying Poinsettia. So I got this gorgeous, oh my god, 
So they just had a ton. And when you watch that video, you'll know what I mean. There was just so many. They had red ones ranging from, I think, 4-inch pots up to 10 or 12-inch pots. Some of them were just massive. They had red, pink, white. Then they had, like, trios. And then they had, like, red and white. And, um, oh, they're beautiful. These are honestly the most beautiful poinsettias I've ever seen. So if you're in the area and you're in Bowmanville, go to Wreckers Garden Center because... <laughs> wow. So pretty. Okay, so that's my poinsettia. Okay, the last one that I got, you may be able to see in the frame. I'll give you a second. Can you see it? Do you see anything different? Yeah, no? <laughs> it is this beautiful Thanksgiving cactus. Oh, <laughs> like it wasn't even, look at those blooms. I'm hoping it focuses in on these because it is just gorgeous. <laughs> now, I'm usually a fan of like bright, like reds. I love red um, and, you know, like the dark pinks or something like that. But there was something about these gorgeous little fragile blooms that just did it for me. <laughs> like, look how cool they are. So that's just the end of one. Isn't that neat? So, so cool. So he is just sitting up here looking gorgeous. Oy. And providing a little pop of color to my shelf. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the Next three plants, <laughs> I kind of want, there's one I want to kind of save for the last because it's like the coolest. <laughs> so these next three ones are just little. Um, so the first one is this little cacti <laughs> or cactus, I guess. He's so cute. And this is, oh man, I'm going to screw this up. Apuntia microdasis albinspina? Albispina? I don't even know. Can you read that? Yeah, I'm gonna butcher it. <laughs> but he is so, so cute. And he's got this little teeny guy on the top here. That's adorable. So he's my first one. My second one is this super cute variegated bear paw. And his scientific name is, <laughs> oh man, why did I even, <sighs> Kati Linden, Tor... no, it's just not happening. I'm just going to let you read it. <laughs> there it is. It's focusing. Hopefully it is. But he's super cute. Yeah. The next one I've wanted for a while, and I think like everybody wants one of these just because of what they are. So today, I got myself a booby cactus. <laughs> like, they're so cute. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> just teeny little boobies. I love it. <laughs> but he'll grow. And big boobies just like we all eventually do <laughs> I probably should edit that part out okay the next one um, I actually got on a whim because one of our local nurseries posted last night on Instagram that they just got a shipment of these things in they only had like so many so <laughs> I was actually home sick yesterday, so I wasn't going anywhere. Um, but my plant fairy godmother, Paula, 
was like, I'm going. I'm going. I got to know how much they are. I want to see. So she ended up going and she ended up picking me up one. Now, what pa Paula did point out is that everyone that she knows has one of these, except for me. <laughs> so now I have one too. And it is this guy. So I don't know if it's a true Rifidophora tetrasperma. I think it might be like the um, um, like the tissue cultured one, but look at those cute little leaves. Aren't they nice? But it's a nice full plant. I think it's a pretty good size, and it was thirty dollars, which I'll pay thirty dollars for that all day long. I think that's a really good deal, especially up here. Um, I've seen ones with like three and four leaves go for 40 or 50, which is crazy. So, so I think that's a really good price for that one. So I now finally have some variety of Rifidophora tetrasperma. Yay. Okay. To the moment we've all been waiting for. This plant um, is definitely a wish list plant. And I saw that they had these and I actually ordered it in advance so that I could just pick it up from there just in case they ran out and then I would have been like oh and I would have kicked myself it would have been like a thing so this folks is an alocasia silver dragon how amazing is that look at those leaves is it focusing I don't even know so the cool thing look at the backs of these leaves how awesome is that? And the bigger they get, the more pronounced that becomes. Isn't he cool? So that is my new little wishless plant. The Alocasia Silver Dragon. Yes. I am so excited. Okay, guys. That's pretty much all I had for you today. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah!